In the tutorial for ingesting content, we have seen how content can be ingested into the SR1000 server. Content which has been ingested, is both stored and played from the server storage. However, you also have an option to play content directly from an external storage device, such as a USB or CRU drive. This practice is termed as live play. Please note, that the external drive must be connected using eSATA or USB 3.0. Live play is particularly useful, when the content cannot be played from the server storage, possibly due to issues with the server storage, or if you do not have enough time to fully ingest the content. Please note, that live play should be used only in cases of emergency, when the content cannot be played from the server storage. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to live play content from your GDC SR1000 server, using the web UI. We will live play content directly from an USB drive, without ingesting it into the server storage. Before setting up live play, make sure the drive has been connected to the USB port of the server, using USB 3.0. Click on the content tab. In order to view the contents of the connected drive, go to the source sub tab. Click on the USB drive option, and then click on the open button, to mount the drive. Then, select the name assigned to the USB drive, from the storage device drop down and the partition letter the drive was assigned by the server. Clicking on the OK button, will populate the contents of the drive, on the following screen. Everything listed under the root directory, represents the folders within the USB drive. Clicking on a particular folder will reveal its contents, and list them on the right side of the screen. Similar to ingesting content, Click on the folder containing the trailer, and then select the checkbox against the listed file. However, instead of ingest, click on the live play button, and select the add to live play option. This will mount the trailer for live play, which can then be added to a show playlist as if it had been ingested. To verify that the trailer is indeed live playable, click on the live play button again, and select the list live play option. A pop-up window will be shown. Any content listed here, will be ready for live play. You can also remove a clip from live play, by clicking on the eject button against it. To go back to the source sub-menu, click on the close button. You can view the list of live playable content, from this screen as well, by clicking on the live source button. Now that we know our content is ready, we can navigate to the playlist editor, by clicking on the playback tab and going to the edit sub menu. Search for the content file, which was added for live play. The content will be listed under the respective category, as if it had been ingested. All we need to do now, is to add it to the desired show, by selecting the corresponding playlist and dragging and dropping it into the playlist editor. Save the changes to the playlist, by clicking on the save button. Then, click on the load for playback button, to load this playlist to the playback interface. This tutorial is now complete. Thank you for watching.